Hey, it's Justin from Transistor, and today I'm going to show you how to create a new podcast in your Transistor account. So let's head over to the dashboard. And as you can see, I already have multiple podcasts created here in my account. One of the advantages of Transistor is you can create as many independent shows as you want. Each show has its own RSS feed. You can invite different team members to different shows. And there's really no limit on how many shows you create. To create a new podcast, we're going to head over here to the upper right hand side and click add a show. And here we can choose different types of podcasts. We can create a regular public podcast. We can import an existing podcast. We can create a private podcast. But today I'm going to create a just a regular public podcast that we're going to submit to Apple and Spotify. So I'm going to click configure new podcast. And now we just have to fill out the show details. So I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to give it a short description. And I'm going to upload some podcast artwork. In my case, I've made the artwork here in Canva and I've exported it as a JPEG. So I'm just going to upload that. There we go. Next, I'm going to choose what kind of podcast this is. Now, most podcasts are episodic. That means the most recent episode is the episode that folks will see in their podcast player. But sometimes you'll have a narrative or dramatic show that's a series where it starts, you know, from episode one and tells a story each episode. And for those, you'll choose serial for podcast type. I'm going to choose episodic. Next, I'm going to choose a category. In this case, places and travel. I can also choose a secondary category if I'd like. I'll choose personal journals. Next, I'm going to list the show's creator. So normally this is the host of the show. Uh, and in that case, it's me. So Justin Jackson, I'm the person that's going to be recording episodes and on the microphone. You can also add copyright if you'd like. You can also add keywords. This is being deprecated in most podcast listening apps and isn't as important as it used to be. If you have a website for your podcast, you can list that here. Transistor provides a free website you can create, uh, but we're going to do that later and we'll come back here to paste in that URL. You can also choose which language is spoken on the podcast. In my case, it's English. What your publishing time zone will be. And then down here at the bottom is show owner. So this would be the name of the individual or the company who owns the rights to the show. Uh, this is often going to be the administrative contact that Apple or Spotify might use. So I'm going to put my name and I'm going to put my email address. We also give you the option of displaying your email address in the RSS feed. Sometimes when you're submitting a podcast, they're going to want to verify that you own that RSS feed and they do that by emailing you. Uh, by default, we leave this unchecked just so that you don't get spammed by people that are scraping all the RSS feeds. So you can leave that blank if you want. You can always come back here later if you want to enable that, if you, for example, need to verify ownership of your podcast feed. All we need to do now is click Create My Show. And just like that, we now have a podcast on Transistor. Now, it's not a podcast that's been submitted to Spotify or Apple yet. We don't even have an episode yet. And that's actually the next step. You'll see if you click on the distribution tab, we'll give you a checklist of things you need to do before you can submit it to Apple, Spotify, etc. And one of the requirements is that you have one episode published in your podcast feed. And that's the step we're going to do in the next tutorial.